I'm Christopher Crumley, staff editor at SDM Magazine, and welcome to Security News Roundup. The Federal Communications Commission voted to create a voluntary cybersecurity labeling program for wireless consumer Internet of Things products. Under the program, qualifying consumer smart products that meet robust cybersecurity standards will bear a label, including a new U.S. cyber trust mark that is intended to help consumers make informed purchasing decisions, differentiate trustworthy products in the marketplace, and create incentives for manufacturers to meet cybersecurity standards. The U.S. Cyber Trust Mark logo will initially appear on wireless consumer IoT products that meet the program's cybersecurity standards. The logo will be accompanied by a QR code that consumers can scan for easy to understand details about the security of the product, such as the support period for the product and whether software updates and security patches are automatic. Carrier Global Corporation has agreed to sell its industrial fire business to Sentinel Capital Partners for an enterprise value of $1.43 billion. The transaction represents the latest step in Carrier's ongoing portfolio transformation following the recent acquisition of Wiesman Climate Controls and the recently announced agreements to sell Carrier's Global Access Solutions business to Honeywell for nearly $5 billion and its commercial refrigeration business to Hire for $775 million. Carrier said it continues to prepare for the last of its four announced business exits, its combined commercial and residential fire business. The Security Industry Association Women in Security Forum has kicked off the fourth annual Essentials for Job Security Giveback, a program coinciding with IC West that supports the efforts of Dress for Success Southern Nevada to help women build careers and achieve financial independence. The initiative encourages exhibiting companies and their employees to donate new and gently used clothing to DFSSM to help local Dress for Success clients in Nevada which has had the highest female unemployment rate in the United States, feel more confident and empowered as they interview for jobs, enter the workplace, and achieve self-sufficiency. Minuteman Security Technologies, a national provider of enterprise security technology solutions, announced the acquisition of Strategic Security Solutions of Raleigh, North Carolina. With the acquisition of S3, a systems integrator with four locations in North Carolina, Virginia, and Pennsylvania, Minuteman says it has become the largest Eastern U.S. super regional independent full-service provider of integrated security, communication, and life safety systems. Combined, the company operates 20 office locations from Florida to Maine and as far west as Chicago and globally through its program management office. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and please visit sdmag.com for more industry news.